Today's video is going to talk about the safe administration of local anaesthetic. For this you need local anaesthetic. In this case, I'm using 1% lignocaine. For the exam, you must know the safe doses of lignocaine with and without adrenaline. Lignocaine, 1%, without adrenaline, you can give 3 milligrams per kilogram. With adrenaline, 7 milligrams per kilogram. You will read some variation in the textbooks, but they're a good guide, and they're the ones you certainly need to know for the exam. Your local anaesthetic might come in a glass vial or in a plastic vial. The important thing is to open the glass vial safely as you don't want to cut yourself in the exam. The other thing you'll need is a syringe, a drawing up needle and a giving needle. Important things to check beyond making sure that you have the right drug, in this case 1% lignocaine without adrenaline, is the expiry date as well. Having opened your vial and keeping sharp safety in mind, Draw up your desired amount of local anaesthetic with your drawing up needle. In this case, I'm going to draw up 5 mils of 1% lignocaine. Once you've drawn it up, dispose of your sharp safely. Before you administer your anaesthetic, make sure the patient has no allergies and warn them what you're going to do. So tell your patient if they have no allergies. I'm just going to give you a little injection. It will sting initially, but then it should go nice and numb. Prep the skin appropriately and let that dry for at least 30 seconds. There are then a number of techniques for administering local anaesthetic. What you need to make sure of is that you're not in a vessel and that you're being generous with your local anaesthetic within safe doses. The best way to do that is to withdraw on your plunger before you administer local anaesthetic. You should then see small blebs rise up on the skin and then here comes the difference. You can either Anaesthetize an area, wait for that to work, and then slightly advance. Or you can do multiple passes while giving local anaesthetic, so that if you were to go through a vessel, this would only be transient. Having administered your local anaesthetic, remember to give it time to work and not to do any procedure until you're sure the anaesthetic has had time to work. That means checking your block with a sharp. 